Let's look in more detail at how to use filter. Here is the signature purpose and header for filter. Just so that I can easily refer to it, I'm going to put it at the top of the screen. Let's say that I have a list of numbers and I want to tell uh, which numbers are, let's say, positive. If we're going to use filter to process this list, we have to ask the question, what is x? Filter takes as input a list of x. That's what the signature says. If we want to give filter a list of numbers, but filter only accepts a list of x, then x must be number. Let's write that down. So if x is number, then the signature we're actually working with is something that we can get by changing every x to number. So I'm going to go through the filter signature and change every x to number. So filter actually takes two inputs, these two, and we already have the list of number, that's what we have here, and we can expect to get another list of number back as soon as we come up with this first input to filter, a number to Boolean function. This is why it's important to ask ourselves, what is x? Because it's going to tell us what the signature of this helper function is. And that is the beginning of designing that helper function to know what its signature should be. Now, for more specific cases, we might need to design this helper function ourselves. But right now, if we, all we want to do is to pick out the positive numbers in this list, there's actually an existing building function in the language that has this exact signature and the purpose we need. That function is called positive ha. Positive ha is a function with this signature and that's why, that's the only reason why we can use it as the first input to filter where we pass the second input a list of number. Again, this is all because x is number and that's why it's so important to start using abstraction by asking ourselves, what is x? And indeed, when we run this program, we're going to get only the positive numbers in the list. Let's look at a slightly more complex example where there's no building function we can use. Suppose that we want to find not all the positive numbers in the list, but all the numbers that are greater than 10. Well, even though we cannot use positive huh, we still know that we need a helper function with this signature, number to boolean. So let's design a function. I guess I'm going to call it greater than 10 ha, huh? and we know what its signature is. It's going to be number to boolean. The purpose is to check if the given number, that's this number here in the signature, is greater than 10. For example, 20 is greater than 10, but 5 is not. And it's not that hard to design this function. If the number is n, then we just need to give n and 10 to the greater than function, which is built in. Now we can do two things. First, we could run this program as is just to check that our tests for the helper function pass, and then we could use the helper function in our call to filter. And now we get a shorter list. Ah, I do have to move this use of our helper function to below our definition of the helper function. Let's do that. Okay. Here's the list we get, and these are the numbers that are greater than 10 in this input list. Again, remember the first thing to ask yourself when you're going to use an abstraction is, what is x? Well, that's if you're using filter. If you're using a different abstraction, you have to first ask, what are the inputs to the signature? 
And then what are those inputs to the signature? Filter only has one input to its signature, x, and that's why we're asking what is x.